you know who it is. <laughs> Just kidding. Welcome back to another video. Um, today I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about um, a book that I just finished. It is called uh, The Innocent. It's actually a myth. It's written by Candace Raquel Lee. Um, I believe. Hold on. One second. Yes, Candace Raquel Lee. Um, so this one is about, um, so like I said, none of this stuff is true. It's all just a myth. Um, but this one is about the main character in this book. Her name is Alexa. Yes, her name is Alexa. And um, she is, um, I guess it's basically about her and a guy named Christian. So she's not really the type to go out and party, have fun, or anything like that. But I guess her friends talk her into going out. And she meets this guy named Christian. And it seems to be like they're actually drawn to each other. They have like this pull. When they touch each other, it kind of gives them like a like a euphoric feeling. It's kind of like they're drawn to each other. Um, and it's something that he's never felt before and something she's definitely never felt before. Um, so it basically turns out that she is actually what they call an innocent. Um, and he is an incubi. So she's an innocent and she needs his energy to actually survive her transformation into a succubus. They're actually two demons. Um, yeah, so they're actually two demons. She, he's an incubi and she's a succubus. Um, and we all know what those are. I'm not going to go into detail about what they are. But anyways, so um, the whole story is basically about him trying to prove to her that he loves her. Because she was raised by a single mom, her dad actually left when she was born, like before she was born. So her whole life, her mom has always told her, you don't need a man, go to school, get your education, don't let a man mess up your life. Do what you got to do, and then if you fall in love after that, then so be it. But focus on your education. Um, men are nothing but trouble. So her whole life, she's gone through this. Um, she's actually stayed away from all guys. She's focused on that. Um... So she actually fights her feelings for him because she's thinking, I'm only in college, I'm only 19, I cannot possibly be in love with this guy. But he does everything he possibly can to convince her that they are meant to be together. Um, so eventually he wears her down, they end up dating, and there is a whole bunch of drama that goes on. She learns about who she is, but not really until almost the middle of the book. You know, he keeps it a secret from her because he's afraid to scare her off. Um, but it turns out that they are, since they are both demons, and they're saying that love is the most powerful energy in the universe. Um, so basically, when two demons fall in love, true love, they are actually risen above, and they actually can become demigods. And because these two are so powerful and their love is so powerful, they when they marry and become one, their souls will actually be um, bound to each other. So if one dies, the other dies. It's kind of like a, it's kind of crazy to think of something like this, which is why it's a myth. But <laughs> but it's kind of interesting um, t for all that. But yeah, so I I really like it. Um, there's a lot of twists and turns when you think the book is about to end. You're like, you're like, okay, cool, it's coming to an end. Something else happens, something crazy, and it picks the storyline up a whole in a whole nother direction. Um, so that's what I like about it. It's not um, your average book, you know. Um, but I really like it. I guess I, I like the paranormal type book, so it's actually my favorite type of genre, a paranormal romance. But this book really falls under that. Um, once again, it's called The Innocent. It's actually The Innocent, a myth written by um, Candice Raquel Lee. And uh, yeah, there was one other thing I wanted to tell you guys. Um, my friend has actually started his own company. It is called Alpha Animal Ambition. And he is actually selling these t-shirts. Um, he has women's leggings. These are women's t-shirts. He has men's t-shirts and also snapback hats. Um, I don't have any with me right now, but I would go ahead and check them out. Um, also, for every item that you do purchase, a dollar of that will go to helping a child in need of eye care. Um, he has had some eye care for his whole um, eye issues for his whole life, so he thought it would be a great way to give back to the community to actually um, use some of the proceeds of his merchandise to help those children. So I believe it's a really great cause. 
Um, it's a really great company. Um, I would go ahead and check it out. If you guys would like, you can go to Alpha Animal. It's www.alphaanimalambition.com. You can go to Facebook, Instagram, um, YouTube. He has a YouTube channel as well. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend going to his website, checking out his merchandise. Um, I really like it. It's really great quality. Um, that's a little plug for him. But um, until next time, enjoy the adventure.